Pretty quiet this week compared to what we've seen the last several weeks, and I think you'll like the seven-day forecast when you see it. In fact, we have a warming trend that will take us all the way through Friday. That means we'll get our first 70-degree day of the year before the work week is up. And we'll keep this nice weather around, would you believe, into next weekend, dry for a change and relatively warm. We like that, especially that. Radar out there, not really showing much over East Idaho or the central portion of the state. I don't know if you can see this at home up in the panhandle. We're eyeballing that moisture. That moisture may drag down along the Continental Divide. We may see some showers and thunderstorms maybe develop into Montana and then drive towards uh, Jackson and Yellowstone tomorrow afternoon. So. Yeah, there's the possibility of moisture in our area. Of course, for most of us, high pressure and control, and that high pressure is what's going to warm us up. So tonight's forecast, we're looking at a mostly clear sky, back down to around freezing, 32 for low in Pocatello. That's a little better than it was last night. I mean, I know we're splitting hairs here, but at least we're going to stay a bit warmer. And in the seven day, you'll see a few nights we'll actually stay way above freezing. 31 is what we're looking at for low in Idaho Falls under a mostly clear sky. Been on the breezy side all night long, and we're going to keep that breeziness going well into tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. But at least we'll reach into the 50s, 55 expected for an afternoon high with a nice mix of clouds and sunshine temperatures. Well, we get a temperature bump tomorrow. The warming trend continues up to 58 in Pocatello. That puts us pretty close to where we should be this time of year, and it will We'll be breezy in the Gate City, winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, maybe with some higher gusts late afternoon, early evening. Temperature map, 41 for High Island Park. I wouldn't rule out maybe a, a late afternoon, early evening rain and or snow shower for you too. Not just for Jackson, not just for Yellowstone. Even Driggs could see some of that moisture pop up later in the day, so don't be surprised if it wants to rain or maybe it tries to snow. There you go, forewarned. The green area indicates all the places that there will be in the 50s tomorrow. Uh, American Falls topping out at 57. We got 60s on the map. They'll eventually head this way. It's going to take a day or two before they get here. You can see 63 for high in Boise, down in Elko, 61, and a chance of some snow showers for West Yellowstone up into Montana. Wind machine going like crazy up in Great Falls with a high of 55 degrees. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast looking ahead. Liking what we're seeing here. Look at this. We're in the 70s, not just one, but two days in a row. And that one of those days is the weekend. Yes, yeah, Saturday at least. And we're still not too bad temperature wise on Sunday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. And Idle Falls, warmest day coming up will be Friday. Look at the weekend, no rain, no snow, high in the 70s for the start of the weekend. Rexburg will be in the upper 60s, so just get through the next several days. And as I mentioned earlier, lows at night are going to be way above freezing. We're looking at low temperatures in the 40s. Look at Blackfoot. We'll be in the mid 40s for lows Saturday and Sunday. What a beautiful weekend just waiting for us. I think we deserve this weekend that's coming up. Teton area, there's your chance of afternoon rain and snow showers tomorrow. After that, we are high and dry all the way through the weekend for the Central Mountains. We'll be in the mid to upper 50s through Wednesday, and then here, oh, here are those 60s. They arrive. We'll be in the mid 60s going into the weekend, coming out still in the 60s. Maybe not quite swarm on Monday with a partly sunny sky.